Today I'm going to go over the Holistic Orchard Spray I use on my orchard uh, using Mike Phillips' recipe from his book, The Holistic Orchard. And we're going to go over the ingredients and how to mix them up. There's a bunch of them and um, it may seem like a lot, but you've only got to do it four times a year. I'm not going to go over each one specifically uh, and why it's important. Uh, you should probably get that from, from Mike's book. So first over here we've got um, pure cold pressed neem oil and this oil replaces the uh, horticultural oils, the, the mineral oil based uh, oils that you usually spray on your fruit trees. Um, and we've got some pure Dr. Bronner's pure Castile oil. This is used to emulsify the neem oil. We've got some Neptune's Harvest uh, liquid, liquid fish uh, and seaweed. Next up, we've got EM1 microbial inoculant. And we've got some molasses that we, we put in the solution to, to feed the, uh, the microorganisms. And finally, we've got uh, miracle Grows Organic Choice, which is just a shot of nitrogen. So uh, there's a couple of steps to, to putting this together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the neem oil and we're going to stick it in a bucket of hot tap water because it's uh, basically solid right now at room temperature. So it takes about 15 minutes for the, um, the neem oil to, uh, to loosen up and become a little bit more fluid, uh, especially if it's, if it's sitting um, in a cold spot, which, which is how you want to store neem oil. You want to store it kind of, kind of in your root cellar. Um, these, these bottles are expensive. Um, I don't know, it's like 40 bucks shipped. Uh, but this has lasted me, you know, we're going on season three. You don't use much of it at a time. Uh, you're really, you know, using uh, maybe 12, 16 ounces a, a season. So it, it lasts it lasts quite a while. Um, so over the course of the 15 minutes, you got to kind of give this a shake uh, to distribute the heat and get it to loosen up a bit. Um, and what I do is I pour it in a mason jar and I put about about three ounces. Uh, in there for a, a backpack sprayer of four gallons and um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Dr. Bronner's soap and just liberally put a bunch in there just a couple good squirts you know, maybe three four tablespoons um, is what you're after so you mix that up good so I Nice Dijon mustard. Doesn't smell like Dijon mustard, um, but it definitely looks like it now. Yeah, that's that's the consistency we're going after. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to use this bucket of hot tap water here, which is uh, eventually going to go in the backpack sprayer. And I'm going to try to open this molasses with one hand. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, you know, a good couple of dollops of molasses in the bucket. Now you'll notice that that molasses sinks right to the bottom. Okay, and if you dump that right in your backpack sprayer, that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to go right to the bottom. So what I do is I get a stick and... Uh, I mix it up there. Now we've got sort of a sugar water and in that uh, sugar water we're going to add the terragonics, the microbial inoculant here. And with this stuff, as Michael Phillips says, you know, I'm sort of a rough cook, we're going to uh, put about three, four ounces in there. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna take the emulsified neem oil and I am going to put it into the bucket and mix it up. Neighbor's dog, hello. And 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the hose and rinse, rinse this into the bucket and then stir it up. I'll be right back. So I rinsed out my mason jar here and uh, dumped it in there. And I want you to see that as I mix this, what it should do is look like milk. Um, sort of a milky color. And you could see at the very top there's some globules of um, uh, neem oil floating to the top. That means that it's not fully emulsified. And what I've got to do is add a little bit more Castile soap right to the top there. And continue to stir until I don't have any stuff floating on the top. That's actually pretty good. Now you're probably thinking, I'm using this nasty stick. This is a piece of uh, grapevine <laughs> uh, to stir it up and there's all kinds of junk in here. This is going to get filtered out um, as I dump it into the backpack sprayer. Now we're going to uh, put the liquid fish in the mason jar. We're going to put about four ounces, um, one ounce per, per gallon. And the thing with this stuff is you got to shake it really good. Now this stuff uh, unfortunately smells like low tide and you are going to get it on you and you are going to smell like fish and you're going to have to take a shower for sure um, but this stuff is uh, is really good so we're going to put about four ounces in the mason jar there we go yeah that's that smells awesome Whew. All right, now we're going to put the miracle Grow beet juice, fermented beet juice in there. And for a backpack sprayer, uh, I'm going to put about a cap full, a little less. And just for convenience, we're going to dump that in there. Now I've already put about a gallon, half a gallon in there. And with this stuff, you want to make sure that you filter it through some cheesecloth because the, uh, <laughs> the liquid fish actually has like pieces of bone and, and stuff in it. And you want to make sure you filter out as much of that as you can. So I take the, the screen that uh, comes with the backpack sprayer and I put some, you know, cheesecloth folded over a few times and then I pour this through it and I'll get the hose, put a little bit of water in there yeah. see if you don't filter it out that stuff makes its way to the, uh, the screen in your nozzle and clogs it up so now I'm going to come back and I'm going to pour the uh, of stuff through here as well so it was you know I couldn't really show pouring the bucket in there because I needed two hands but you know I poured the the bucket through through the cheesecloth and you can see all the crap that it grabbed but at the same time um, you can see that the uh, there's a lot of sediment in there so you still need to periodically clean the the screen at the nozzle um, because this is sort of a, a heavy um, concentration that uh, that you're going to be spraying, so it's important to keep the nozzle clean. So what I'll do is I'll cap it up. I'll give the uh, I'll give the backpack sprayer a shake, and then we're off to spraying. You can see a lot of the, uh, the stuff is settled at the bottom, and so definitely important to shake as you walk. Um, give it a good shake and, and keep it mixed and uh, it'll be good to go. Alright, that's the Holistic Orchard Spray.